Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. So we were contacted by this company, Laverio, uh, just recently, and they wanted to know if Jamie would take the time and opportunity to take a look at this product and test it out and make a video for our audience. I told them absolutely we could do that after talking with her, making sure she wanted to do it. And I said one thing, we want two of these things so that we can give one away. So we will be giving one of these away to our audience. Uh, but really appreciative of Laverio for sending this over. Um, you know, we do honest reviews. If we don't like something, we're going to tell you. We're going to try to find the positives and the negatives of anything that we, we take a look at. So um, just going that route, what are your initial thoughts? <laughs> it, I'm only, he's only laughing at me because he knows I'm picky. And um, I am picky. But Lavario, I really... My first reaction is that it's cool. Um, I, I like a lot of things about it. Um, and we haven't opened the box yet because we really wanted to kind of just get my first reactions toward it. Um, first off, I, I really like it in terms of it's, it's different. Like, it's different than some of the other off-grid um, washers that you see on the market today. Um, and so, first off, that made me take a second look because, honestly, I, I've, I've looked at all of the others out there and I've never really wanted to invest any time or money in them. But um, this one, it, it looks different. So I thought, you know, we'll see. So, first off, like, my reaction, my first number one reaction is that it seems to be easy to load and unload. Like... Unlike some of the others, um, there's no like, you know, twisting lids on and off and just, you know, stuffing clothes down inside. It seems to be just, you know, lift the lid, put your clothes in, put the lid back on. And, you know, um, any, t any extra time invested in loading the washer <laughs> is to me wasted time. Um, the second thing that it looks really cool is that the motion, is, it, the way that it's advertised is that it's very limited motion, like it doesn't take a lot of strength to move up and down. Those of you who have seen my off-grid laundry videos know that I usually use a breathing mobile washer, which is basically just like um, the shape of a toilet plunger. Um, and you may not realize from the video, but there is a lot of force that is required to move that breathing mobile washer in and out of the clothes. Um, it's a workout. And Tell them about some of the reactions of people who've come over and who've tried that. <laughs> um, there have been some ladies um, that have visited with us and I've showed them how to do laundry and they've tried it out themselves after seeing videos of me doing it and they're across the board the reaction is oh wow like that's a lot of work yeah I mean it, it is it's, it's a workout and honestly right now I've really been struggling because I'll, I'll be open and say that I hurt my back recently and so for me that you know up and down motion of moving that washer in and out really hurts my back right now so I, I try, I've been trying not to do it. <laughs> um, okay, so that's, that's the second thing is probably the way that it's advertised and the ease of moving it back and forth. So I will say that um, I haven't tried it yet. So this jury is still out. I'll give my final opinion on how easy it is to move up and down once I try it. Um, the other thing I really liked about it is that it seems to be easy to drain. Um, it has a little spout in the bottom that is going to drain the water out. Um, a lot of my struggle right now because of my back um, is a lot of leaning over and lifting the heavy clothes in and out of the water, out of the wash water. And then after that, the strength needed to actually empty the wash water, tip, even, even the motion of like tipping it over to dump the water. 
something that I used to be able to do no big deal has become an, a more of an issue for me. So I don't know, maybe this is something that happened to me to kind of <laughs> understand um, doing off-grid laundry with a little bit of physical limitation. Um, maybe that's a good thing. I can, I can help others in that way because it's not super easy for me anymore. So, um, we're getting old, <laughs> older. <laughs> um, and so that's, those are my first reactions that it's easy to load and that it seems to be an easy up and down motion, not requiring a lot of strength and that, um, it's easy to drain. Now, the issue that I've always had, and I will be completely honest with this, is the issue I've always had with these wash washers is that um, I wonder whether they're worth it. Because to me, um, they don't hold very many items. So it has to be worth it to me to go to the effort of using one of these devices, um, off-grid laundry devices, is it better than the sink? You know, I mean, if it's going to get the clothes, my, my number one thing is, is it going to get the clothes cleaner with the least effort and not splash everywhere? I mean, if, if, it, would, if it would wash without splashing water everywhere, then it would have my seal of approval. Those two things. I'm really impressed with how light this thing is. I mean, it's super light. So after I got it together, I mean, it was nothing to put it together. I mean, just a little snapping in of the handle was all. But I really, really like the look of it. I really like the color and I feel like it's really streamlined and it looks nice. Um, it looks like it's really sturdy and well made. And the handle clicked in really easy and I really liked how easy it is to get the lid on and off that's it like some of the other washers that I've seen require a lot of kind of messing with them to um, get the lid on and off and then load it and unload it, it just seemed like a lot of trouble but this one seems like really easy to load and unload, which that's awesome. Okay, I think we're ready to test it out. Like to pick it up is the buoyancy of the water lifts the basket and then to press it down it's just a little bit of pressing down and the gravity works with it now you have to remember that I'm used to washing clothes with a mobile washer and a five gallon bucket which requires a lot of effort to kind of find a hole in the clothes to kind of, cause you gotta get this under your laundry to be able to plunge it up and down, which it, it requires a lot of effort. Um, but this is nowhere near that. And you can see it's working because you can see how dirty the water is getting. I mean, you'd, you'd 
think that it would require a lot of energy to pick up that much weight. Um, a full five gallons of water, um, clothes that are soaked in a full five gallon bucket requires a lot of energy to pick up and normally that would really hurt my back, but this is not hurting my back. Okay, so I think I'm ready to rinse the clothes. So I'm gonna open up the valve and let the water out of the bucket. So once the water has drained out of the bucket, the next step they say is to take the clothes out of the basket and put them in the bucket itself to use the basket to press down to squeeze the clothes a little bit. So I'm going to try that. Honestly, I don't know. That really, to me, doesn't do it. You might be able to get a little bit of water out of the clothes that way. Um, I'll let you let in on a little secret. Because normally when I do clothes, um, many of you have probably seen me use my old-fashioned wringer. Since I hurt my back, I do not use the wringer anymore. And I haven't for a very long time. Because I feel like the twisting and the strain is really hard on me. So normally what I will do is once I drain the water out of my clothes, I will just let them sit for a little bit and go do something else that I need to do while they kind of drain a little bit more. Um, which really saves on time, but also, you know, the, the physical squeezing and wringing of the clothes. So normally I would just let this sit and then go do something else, come back and finish. Because you will see that these clothes are still really, really wet. There's a lot more water in and I don't, just don't see how pressing down with the basket works. It may, it may do a little bit of it, but not much. So, this is what I would normally do is just let them drain a little bit and then squeeze some more of the water out. But you can see how they're still really wet. Now for me, I don't mind this too much. I'm used to it. I'm used to squeezing clothes by hand. Um, the wringer can save your hands, but for me, my hands are much stronger than my back at this point, so I'll use my hands over the wringer, but it is just personal preference. So after doing that whole step, honestly, I will say that I'm just in the future. I'm just not going to empty out the basket and use the basket to press down the clothes. I feel like that's, it's not worth the extra step. I'm just going to empty it out, let it drain, let it sit, maybe, maybe over about 10 minutes and then maybe squeeze some of the, the um, clothes that are, have the most water in them and then come back and fill it again. Okay, I'm all done. Um, I'm just gonna get the clothes out of the basket and wring them out with my hands and get them ready to put on the clothesline. I do, I also wanna say that really, I mean, it may seem like a lot of effort to wring some clothes out by hand, but it's really not. Like, this has probably taken me maybe a minute, two minutes, tops for I think the what seven shirts I put in here and several pairs of socks and like I said I don't wring out the shorts or any kind of pants it's just it's too much effort and they drip dry just fine there are a lot of maybe not a lot there are some 
like some of those um, spin machines on the market now that I think um, work kind of like a salad spinner where you can um, spin the water out of your clothes. I will have to say I am not convinced. <laughs> I'm not convinced about those. I think that the videos that I've seen on them, I mean, I would be willing to change my mind, but the videos that I've seen on them, they require more effort to get the clothes in and out and use the time to spin the machine. So I think that I can wring a few clothes out by hand faster than that machine can work by the time you get the clothes in and out. Plus they don't hold that much stuff. So to me, I'll just keep using my hands until I have a reason not to. So the other thing that we were very impressed with was this instruction manual that came with the washer. Um, it is full of full color pictures. Um, every single step-by-step -step instruction with a picture to go with each step. So really, you cannot go wrong, like you can't get lost. And after using the machine and how easy it went together, and it really is self-explanatory, but if you ever needed instructions, they are more than generous with all of the pictures that they give in their manual. Final thoughts, I am definitely gonna use it again. I actually was super, Super impressed. Um, it's super. It's so easy. I I wasn't expecting that fluid motion. I thought it would be a lot harder to lift and push it. But it's a very fluid motion. I feel like um, somebody who's elderly or even a younger child could to work it no problem. Um, the capacity of it. The capacity is something that we are always, I am always going to have an issue with for any machine. But for what it was and the size, I was able to fit quite a few clothes in it. I was able to fit seven t-shirts, um, some good size cotton t-shirts, um, several pairs of socks, and a pair of shorts. Um, kind of like thicker material shorts, not just like um, athletic shorts or anything. So to me, that's pretty good capacity for what it is. Um, a lot of the other machines on the market, I don't think could boast of that capacity from what I understand. So the capacity as well as the fluid motion, um, the ease of it to be able to fill it, to snap the lid on, um, the loading of it, all of that was very, very easy. So I would definitely give it my recommendation for somebody who's looking for a small off-grid um, manual washing machine. Listen, you guys, <laughs> I do have to preface this to say that washing clothes off-grid manually is going to be work no matter what. You're never ever going to be able to get a machine that is going to take all the effort out of washing clothes off grid by hand. Never. So get that off your mind. Um, that said, I will have to honestly say that this is the easiest that I have ever done a small load of laundry. Hey guys, so I mentioned at the beginning of the video we were going to do a giveaway and that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, we have the Laverio washer here and they have been generous enough to go ahead and promise that they would give a second one away. All we need to do is find out who the winner is going to be. And the way you find out who the winner is going to be is you need to go over to our Patreon website, patreon.com slash an American homestead. You can uh, watch this video for free. All you need to do is find this video and go ahead and leave a comment. And by leaving our comment, that automatically enters you in to win. Uh, if you're not one of our patrons, you need to go over to patreon.com slash an American homestead. You can sign up for as little as a dollar a month uh, to be a patron of ours. And we really appreciate all of our patrons. So for this contest, any level is, is 
has the ability to win any any of our level patrons and so all you got to do is just sign up for our patreon.com slash an american homestead page and you'll be entered to win if you leave a comment under this post where this video is located uh we'll be we'll be counting you in as an entry for the contest so a uh, really great product jamie really enjoyed it she said she's going to be able to use this again for sure um you know we we actually are really hard on some of the uh um uh, products that get, that get sent to us from time to time. We can try to give an honest review. If we don't like it, we'll tell you we don't like it. Uh, Jamie, who's been doing this now for about six years, uh, laundry, uh, off-grid, by hand, she knows a good product when it comes to this sort of stuff uh, when she sees one, and so she liked it a lot. So good, good job, Laverio. Um, check it out. It's Laverio portable clothes washer. You can find them at laveriowasher.com. I'll put a link at the bottom of the screen. Uh, check them out and, and, and feel free to send them a message and tell them that you learned about them from an American homestead. We really appreciate it. All right, guys. See you next time on an American homestead.